ان ربك يامرك ان تصل من قطعك وتعطي من حرمك وتعفو عن من ظلمك your rab is instructing you that you should join relations with those relatives who cut them off cut them off and you should give to those who deprive you and you should pardon those who oppress you subhan rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said this in a hadith sil man qata'ak wa'fu 'an man zalama wa ahsin ila man asaa'a ilayk join relations with those relatives who cut them off with you your brother your uncle your auntie even your father your mother if they are not good to you they are not kind to you nice to you that does not mean that you can also behave with them like that no they have rights so even if they don't treat you fairly you have to treat them fair why because on the day of qiyamah they will be asked about their conduct and you will be asked about your conduct just because your brother your uncle your your family members treated you badly it does not give you the green light to treat them badly as well you have to treat them in a good manner you have to join relations with them you have to be on speaking and good terms with them another hadith explains this rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said laysa alwasil bil mukafi ولكن الواصل الذي لا قطعت رحمه وصلها الواصل is not he who repays his وصل meaning if my brother is nice to me i will be nice to him if he is bad to me i will be bad to him as well so this is not joining relationship you are only repaying for what the good is doing to you وصول and joining and being nice is when that person is bad to you and still you are nice to him this is a uh, silman qata and this is sila rahmi and joining the kinship and relationship and being nice to your relatives so even if your relative cuts off you the ties with you you still join the ties with him and you still be nice to him this is in good akhlaq and this is a uh, uh, in in good manners and good ethos the second thing is watu'tiya man harama if someone deprived you then you don't deprive him you give him this sahabi came to rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and said ya rasulullah i have a cousin in another town when i go to him he doesn't show me any hospitality if i ask him for something he doesn't give me and he deprives me but when he comes over here he stays at my house and he asks me as well so should i treat him nicely or should i give him a taste of his own medicine rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said no no don't be bad to him treat him well treat him nicely maybe that will teach him a lesson and next time he will also be nice to you so rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam told him don't give him a taste of his own medicine but be nice to him be kind to him this is what ta'tiya man harama if someone doesn't give you you still give him If your parents don't give you, you give them. You be nice to them. And what are for one man zalama? If someone does zul upon you, you let them off, pardon them, forgive them. Even if he's been in, unjust to you, <coughs> oppressed you, still you pardon them. You know we Muslim ummah are extremely forgiving people. You know if we look at our history, people have you know done so much zul upon the Muslim ummah, but every time Muslims are forgiven. Even you know, if you go into the sixth, seventh century, when the Crusaders took hold of Bayt al-Maqdis and they ruled it for 80 years, and when they had come, they had caused so much bloodshed. But when Sultan Salahuddin Ayyubi rahmatullahi alayhi took back Bayt al-Maqdis from them, he never treated anyone badly. He was extremely just and fair and kind to everyone over there, and forgive and forget. Whatever happened in the previous 8 years we are forgiven you. We don't want to hold you to account. Whoever did they will pay their hisab and their reckon, reckoning on the day of qiyamah. But over here we are forgiven. So Rasulullah said be forgiving. Be a nice person. Develop that nature of forgiveness in you. This is the meaning.